Saudações pessoal, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui de Yakuza, Like a Dragon. E eu tenho que falar que eu dei uma upadinha complicada aqui, viu? Eu fiquei indo na na, na, na Arena Sotembori, certo? E o que, que eu fiz? Não só fiquei pegando por nível, mas também upei algumas classes, tá? Então vamos lá, <risos> sem falar do dinheiro que eu consegui. Primeiro de tudo... É, nós estamos com, basicamente, todos eles equipados com as melhores coisas, mais ou menos. Falo mais ou menos porque ainda tem muito item para poder usar. E o que, que eu estou fazendo? Eu mudei as, as profissões deles, por quê? É, assim, é meio chatinho, mas tem uma coisa no Yakuza. É, lembrando, estamos em live, no final de semana na Twitch, gravando. Quem quiser participar, fica à vontade. Links na... É... No Yakuza, o que acontece? Você tem as classes e conforme você vai mudando as classes, você... essas ocupações, né? É, você vai ganhando algumas coisas. Então, por exemplo, eu deixei o Freelancer no 28, que é, o no... que é o que a gente vai usar, né? Aí eu upei o herói e agora tô upando o músico, tá? O... Caso, certo? O que acontece? Eu já tinha explicado isso, mas assim, o verde, essa bolinha verde que você aprende, ela fica para classe. Então, por exemplo, pop sólido, saraivada de cabeçadas, isso aqui fica quando eu sou freelancer. Tá? A mega golpe, quebrando o taco, é quando eu sou o herói. Na verdade, eu era herói e eu peio freelancer. Né? A cada cinco níveis, na verdade, não a cada cinco, né? Mas a cada tantos níveis, você tem essas bolinhas amarelas. Que... Essas bolinhas amarelas, elas são o quê? Elas são os atributos fixos. Então vale a pena, por exemplo, como eu upei o freelancer, então eu ganhei essa agilidade, esse ataque, essa agilidade, esse ataque, essa agilidade, esse ataque mais 10. Tudo isso eu ganhei para o meu personagem, não para aquela classe. E essa habilidade do personagem, a bolinha vermelha, ele fica para todas as outras classes. Então, por exemplo, quando a gente aprendeu determinação incomparável e coragem indômita aqui com o Kasuga, né? É... Nós aprendemos isso aqui para o personagem, ou seja, não importa qual seja a, a sua classe, você pode usar aquilo lá, tá? Só que no músico, esse desejo eterno, esse seja, seja meu abrigo, que recupera me para PM, ele fica para qualquer outra classe. A verde não. E esses atributos mais específicos, tá? Então eu pei do caso que foi o, free, o freelancer e o músico. Demora um pouco, tá? Não tanto, mas beleza. O do Haddad, eu peguei o guarda-costas. Na verdade, guarda-costas, estou upando o mestre de obras, ele é detetive. Né? O... Esse aqui foi o melhor, tá? Do Namba foi o melhor. Eu upei o vidente e o chefe. Por quê? Porque como ele é mais focado para mago, então eu imaginei que esse aqui ele fosse melhor. Cara, ele dá uma magia, que é essa aqui. Previsão fulminante, que é animal. Ele atinge até três inimigos com ataque de raio. Absurdo, é absurdo o dano que ela dá. O dela, eu... <risos> é, esse vídeo aqui, fazer o quê? É, o Pay a Hostess e a Rainha da Noite, porque ela é garçonete. Apesar que, assim, eu não preciso mais upar essa classe, tá? Só que como eu vou seguir a história normal, eu vou deixar as classes normais dele. Porque quando você troca de classe, você fica muito fraco. Então, tá vendo aqui que, por exemplo, a gente tá nível 22. Tá vendo que se eu mudar pra garçonete, ele, ele, ele já aumenta alguns atributos? Justamente porque aquela classe está mais forte, tá? E também na hora de upar, a gente... Ela era funcionária, então eu upei o Idol e o Group E. Ele é matador, eu upei o Host e agora o Dançarino. Ele é Gangster, foi músico e agora o Host. Ó, tá? E assim, a gente, quando eu parei o vídeo, a gente estava no nível... Hein? Tá no nível 65. <risos> assim, foi, foi muito up, foi muito up. Quantas horas eu fiquei, eu não sei. Quantas horas eu fiquei, eu não sei. Mas E também pegamos muitos itens de venda. Basicamente o que eu fiz? Eu fui do andar 10 até o 20, umas 6, 5, 6 vezes, né? Eu fui do andar 20 até o 30, umas 7, 8 vezes. Dá pra ver, na verdade, aqui tem equipamento. Então, por exemplo, capacete cibernético. Quantos nós temos? O... É, na verdade não foi tanto, né? Porque se tivermos dragões aqui, era para nós termos mais. 
Enfim, tem uma boa upada, tá? Então, fique, é, também já upei algumas armas, tá? Inclusive, vamos ficar mais fortes, porque essas armas... Ah, e a gente consegue voltar, eu não sei. A gente consegue voltar pra Izezar, né? É, então, eu vou voltar para as é, profissões normais. O que eu achei chato é que para você voltar, você precisa ir no, na troca de serviço. Você não pode trocar a qualquer momento. Eu achei isso chato. Tá? E esse dinheiro todo que nós temos, mesmo tendo gastado um pouco, tá? Mesmo tendo gastado um pouco, é, ele, ele foi só de alguns itens que a gente pega na arena que vale um milhão. Você precisa de algo? Então, você vai virar o um freelancer, o um herói, né? Herói. Vou colocar o traje normal. Esse, tem certeza? É herói mesmo que ele é? Ele é, é um herói, né? Ele vai virar o detetive. Eu vou deixar o normal porque, de novo, eu quero seguir com o, o pressuposto pra ele. E também porque as nossas armas focadas estão mais... Traje aqui. É, estão mais fortes para eles. Pronto. I'm sure you'll do great. Agora a gente vai lá, pega o equipamento. Tá com o lendário do herói. Só para vocês terem uma ideia. Eu... Ah, eu tenho alguma coisa aqui que aumenta... Ah, é. Você também consegue comprar alguns itens que aumentam o XP para aquela classe. Cara... Tem que comprar esses itens. Porque senão demora muito pra você. Feito efeito, não pode. Falta. Não, não, não. É, isso aqui. Tá me permitindo fazer nada? Então eu vou usar aqui a pedra do. Olha só, se eu fosse trocar de ocupação, olha o quanto que ele ia perder. No, mestre, no músico, por exemplo. Ele já perde. É muito, mas ele perde até que bastante atributo porque ele tá nível 19. Se eu for upar o chefe, olha quanto atributo eu perco. Então assim, é metade da vida, mais da metade da MP. É, é bem chatinho, tá? Isso que eu vou seguir com as profissões normais. Então beleza, equipamento. Uh. Na, 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 na. Beleza, todos eles já estão upados. Só preciso colocar... Ela, amuleto. Ah, tá ótimo. Assim. Ah, tá. Equipou. Ah, aumenta a quantidade de XP da ocupação obtida do, do inimigos. E tem um item específico pra cada... para cada profissão, tá? Então, por exemplo, essa caneta de peru velha, ela é para esse, essa profissão. Esse caderno antigo, ele é para essa profissão. Agora, do caso, ah, não tem. Não tem. Na verdade tem, só que tem uma loja até que eu quero, eu esperei pra gravar, pra poder mostrar pra vocês. E ela abriu uma subquest, mas eu vou fazer ela agora. E vi como a gente pode voltar pra cá, né? Tô jogando pelo controle, então nem sei. Controle certinho, tá? Aqui, tem esse lugar pra poder falar, né? E por enquanto é isso. Vamos lá falar com ele? Só isso mesmo? Ah, sim. É, como eu peguei também mais alguns materiais, dá pra nós uparmos as armas. Só que é o seguinte, o Yakuza, ele é complicado porque como ele tem muito, muita arma, é, eu não sei quais são as únicas e quais são as repetidas. Tá? Então vamos lá. O taco de herói dá pra melhorar com o ligote de... Caramba, bem louco. Aí ele vai virar o EX3. Aumento do acerto de ataque normal. Então, só que custa 6 milhões, né? Just a finishing touch. Deus do céu. Ah, deve ser ultimate. Por... Nossa, 8 milhões, cara. Aqui aumenta um pouco. Almost there. Pronto. Aí ele vira, recupere não. Aumenta. Não, deixa eu parar o bicho. 
eu acho que dá pra nós vermos pelo, pelo valor, ó. 4 milhões. Mas ele tá usando essa. Almost there. Ó, 1 um milhão. Just a finishing touch. Beleza. Agora que eu percebi que tá sem muito. 2 milhões, ok. É, dá pra ver pelo valor. Se a gente mal tá usando ela, então deixa quieto. Ah, ela usa drink. Ela não tem. Então vou fazer o seguinte, 2 milhões, 8 milhões, 2 milhões, 4 milhões. Looking good. Just a finishing touch. 3 milhões, 300 aliás, 1 um milhão, não tem estilete de cerâmica, legal. Dá pra upar o dele? Dá. Just a finishing touch. Pois. Eu não sei até quando vai, provavelmente pode ir até, sei lá, 10x, né? Aí armadura, armadura, você pode criar armadura aqui, chotesca, se eu não me engano. É, provavelmente, chote. Mas, é... Nossa, é muito caro e não, não parece que faz tanta diferença. Um restaurante. Vamos ver. Peraí. Primeiro de peso. A música. Música, né, jogo? Vou equalizar o som quando entrar em batalha. Porque eu diminuí pra fazer uns. Ah, deixa eu recuperar o meu HP, gente. Eu já volto um momentinho. Então, pessoal, eu vou aproveitar que nós estamos aqui. É, lembrei que eu ia onde que era. É, tem um bueiro que você vai. Eu não lembro qual é a condição, mas a gente já tinha. Tempo, só pra não saber disso. E ao invés de parecer uma DG, ele é uma loja de lugares secretos. Aí você, é, você libera ele, faz a subquest e. Você pode comprar algumas coisas secretas a mais. Outra coisa que também a gente precisa fazer é. Ah, tá. É, precisa ir no bar. No bar falar com o pessoal, porque nós já estamos com. Aqui, ó. O poder é aqui, tá? E já estamos com. A relação de alguns no máximo, tá? No máximo assim. No máximo pra poder passar pro próximo nível. E de alguns outros eu acho que falta um ou dois. Mas vamos seguir, né? Assim, já vou seguir a história porque, de novo, a gente tava nível 50 com uma profissão. Estamos nível 65 com duas profissões e meia, basicamente. Quem for upar, é besteira você upar acima do 30, tá? Porque depois do 30, a cada 5 níveis, ele tem os atributos importantes. Só que assim, se você comparar 250 de força com upar, demorar pra upar 5 níveis pra ganhar 5 de força a mais. aqui aí, onde você pensa que vai? ah, na verdade eu não cheguei a fazer, eu dei load, é verdade ah? é que eu te deixei entrar? é? tipo um cachorrinho choramingando, implorando pro seu dono deixar ele entrar em casa pra não morrer de frio melhor cair fora daqui, você sabe que é bom tá rolando aqui é. É, o que tá rolando aí atrás, hein? Porra, na maioria é o pessoal que tenta perguntar alguma coisa pro Anik e acaba se enrolando e fugindo. Mas você. Suas bolas de boliche aí, pá. Uhum. É, esse seu olhar é como um salmão subindo a corrente, um pouco se lascando pra suas impossibilidades estatísticas. Beleza, eu vou oh. te mostrar qual é a esquema, vem comigo. Ué. É mauzão, né? Mas. Ah, isso aqui é japonês, uhum. gente. Nossa, essa é a casa de jogos onde as figuras mais imprudentes de Tintio se reúnem para aliviar o estresse vaziar os bolos. A melhor parte é que a lei não pode meter tudo. Então, se tiver grana e os colhões para segurar aqui, você pode ficar interessante. Eu não fazia ideia que tinha um lugar desse escondido assim na nossa cara. Bom, já que eu tô aqui, eu vou é curtir. Mais ou menos, né? Mais ou menos. Então, qual é o esquema? Você libera essa parte subterrânea. Tá? E aí, ele vai abrir uma side quest. Vai abrir uma side quest que libera, dando por aqui, um vendedor secreto. Esse vendedor secreto, ele vende o itens redobrado em dobro, né, para determinadas classes que são só as faltantes e é, é aqui mesmo são as faltantes 
e, e mais uns itens muito bons. Então, eu não sabia disso, aí eu fui procurar. Por quê? Quando eu tava upando as classes, que demora muito. Ah, a gente, porque a gente não ainda na outra PC. Tava vendo uma maneira um pouco mais fácil de upar. E aí tinha esse negócio de classe de do dobro. Aí eu fui ver, a gente já tinha um monte de item, basicamente. Ei, chat. Oh. Tá, o dela a gente vai falar ainda, mas calma lá. Kasugasan. Guess what? I finally got more details on that rumor. What rumor? You know, the one I mentioned earlier? Trust me, you're gonna want to hear this. Hey, if it's juicy, let's hear it. So, I heard this from a customer. But apparently there's a small shipping company called Zhou Long Trading over on Ejean Street. And if you tell the guy working there a certain password, he'll let you into a top secret weapon shop. This shop's not legal, is it? Hey. No, né? Doubt it. According to the rumors, he's pretty much cornered the black market. So, if you need anything dangerous and illegal, he's your go-to guy. Wow, sounds intense. I know, right? I bet he's got the coolest stuff. Hey, what do you think this guy looks like? You think he's one of those sexy anti-hero types? <sighs> if only I could meet a guy like that. You think he'd want to say hi to me? No, that's probably not a good idea. Something tells me he's more villain than anti-hero. Meh, you say so. Anyway, you have any idea what his password might be? Oh, let me think. It was... Lao Chow Chow Ya. There we go. Eu, eu. Love Chu Chu Ya? <laughs> be Lao Chow Chow Ya. <laughs> Lao Chow Chow Ya. I'm clueless as to what it means, if anything at all. Lao Chow Chow Ya. And I just say it to the dude who works there? Well, do keep in mind, this is all hearsay. But where there's smoke, there's fire. So some of it might be true. And besides, even if he does turn out to be a villain, you're strong enough to make it out alive. Appreciate the vote of confidence. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check it out. Thanks for the tip. Now, if he really is my type, nice body, a little hey, on the girl. wild side, hook me up with a date. Eu tenho que ir até a rua e Jim falar assim pro cara de estruturas do longo. Tchau, tchau, tchau. E a quem vê isso? Legal aqui assim, né, gente? Olha, não é por nada não, mas esse esquema de tigrão, ele é usado pro pessoal um pouco mais velho, sabe? É aqui mesmo? É na casa de jogos? Não, né? Ele deve ter uma, uma missão. Eu dei load quando eu cheguei ali, tá? Porque eu queria mostrar aqui. Ah, faz tanto tempo que eu não... É que assim, eu, eu, eu vou pegar pra fechar, tá, gente? Ah, tá aqui, ó. Ah, nananana, então... Be... Ah, tá. Eu... Aí depois a gente volta aqui e faz o diálogos, tá? Ah, mas por que vai fazer o diálogo? Pra aumentar o, o... A quantidade de XP que eles ganham, né? É meio complicado, porque, por exemplo, ao invés de eu poder estar tá upando legal, eu tô, é, os outros estão upando do Estão upando o um X. Aí é meio chato. Aí realmente tem. Bem-vindo. Ah, se é pra fuder essa loja de armas, mas pode ser perigoso. Ei, uh, pois não. O que você quer? Espera mesmo a senha? Tchau, 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 ya. Lao Chao Chao Ya. Where did you hear that from? Uh, I was referred here? Kinda? Very well. Then wait right here. Alright. Inclusive, eu acho que eu tenho os itens pra vender, que são repetidos. Yeah, can I help you guys? You can help us prove your worth to Chao San by facing us in combat. No offense, but protocols are protocols. I knew this shit would happen. Now, vou tomar um couro. Mas vou tomar um couro. Assim, gente, é, o pessoal chega nesse, mais ou menos nesse capítulo. Não vou falar assim dessa sub né? Mas 
É, a gente tava no nível 50, já tava no nível alto, tá? Ah, eu esqueci de usar o negócio. Pera aí. Eu tô usando o controle, aí eu preciso me acostumar um pouquinho. Toma. É, o pessoal chegava nesse nível mais ou menos 38, onde a gente tá na... na... Enfrentando lá o Arakawa, tá? Já tava 50, agora tá 65. Pra entrar na torre do milênio é 70. Você é muito skilhoso. Excepcional. Você passa. Você é o que me me E a E Esse aí tem cara de vilão mesmo. Sorry we had to do that, sir. But we do have to screen our clients somehow. Yeah, I get it. I mean, this is the black market I'm dealing with, so I feel like I'm going to around. <laughs> I assure you, it's worth the effort. Acho que eu tenho que seguir o rio até a ponte. É, é lá, é lá de novo. É, só aqui. Vamos lá então. Ok. Lá. Eu coloco para desativar os inimigos que é, é, é muito bom, tá, gente? Eu recomendo totalmente. Melhor do que ficar lutando com o bastão. Então, isso aqui é que é o seguinte. Ele está embaixo. Para vocês. Tem que liberar essa parte. Mais que cap. Tem que liberar essa parte. Certo? Para ele poder aparecer, viu? Hey there. Heard you got some weapons for me. You say that with such confidence. Tell me, what family are you from? Surely, you're not some civilian. I'm with Arakawa, the Arakawa family of the Tojo clan. It, well, I was. The Tojo clan. Interesting. Just like Kazuma and Kiryu. What? You got some buddies over there? Hardly. Those people I avoid. It's best they don't know my face. Okay. Now listen. Why'd your men attack me? I was just trying to give out a password. Eles já falaram por quê? I was determining your level of trust. Those who cannot handle secrets spill them. The fatal move in our line of work. Which is to say, only a fool would arm a weak man. That is why we tested you. To determine the character behind your strength. So that's what that was. Faz sentido. Yes. And you have proven your worth. Our doors are open to you from now on. You mean it? Only under the condition you tell no one. Like I said, this is a trust-based business. Do anything to blow our cover. I'll strike you down. Hey, you can relax. I know I look laid back, but I'm no snitch. Yo, and I'm She's Kasuga. Off. <laughs> Ichiban Kasuga. You are... Chao. Chao Kalong. Well then, Chao san, let's do some business. Tu só te dói. É, é a localização, não é tradução, é localização. Ah. Uhum. Começando a achar que es, essas armas são as últimas. Não, você é maluco? Appreciate the business. Oh, filho, vai. Oh, meu Deus. Appreciate Mas the que... business. You're here. Pera aí, gente. Appreciate Mas... the business. É que ele não tá pedindo para equipar aí, eu tô cancelando. Tá bom. Uma de raios, spray, luminária. Não, mas espera aí. Ué. Esse aqui é aqui que vendia os... Ah, que sacanagem. Ah, que sacanagem, não vende. Tá bom, é que geralmente o... nós não... Geralmente não. Nós não temos o item e aumenta o XP do herói. Caso daí, se eu não me engano, era aqui, né? 
Mas, vamos ver. Então vamos lá. Precisamos fazer o... Precisamos ir no bar, falar com o pessoal. Só que eu tenho alguns... Tá vendo? Acho que tem que selecionar o que estão vendendo, né? Não? Como é que eu venho aqui, cara? Ah, tá. São lojas específicas. Eu já volto, gente. Pronto, agora sim. Ainda tem os nossos pratos de platina lá no poker, mas vou deixar um pouco lá. Tá? Então, vamos lá. O que, que a gente vende aqui? É, nada desse... Aqui, alto valor... Mas o que a gente ganha, na verdade, são armas. Quer ficar zerado? Aqui. Tá vendo? Esses 1 um milhão aqui, que é o quê? Quando chega no certo... Como eu fiquei fazendo bastante vezes a, a Arena Sotempori, então eu peguei várias vezes. Pelo menos um de cada um e já era. Ou seja, a Arena Sotempori é ótima para você farmar XP. É, XP de profissão, né? XP de personagem e dinheiro. Eu tenho muito equipamento, cara. É, as botas do dragão não são muito legais de você vender, tá? Porque elas são muito boas. Então tá ali, ó. Nós temos seis. Tem seis equipados nela. Ah, não, eu fiz bastante vezes mesmo. É que ali aparecem as que não estavam equipadas. Tô aqui, gente. Ó, capacete de 23, aranã, cibernético. Beleza, pronto, recuperamos um pouco de dinheiro. Tá, agora vamos ouvir lamentos do pessoal na, na história. Outra coisa que eu esqueço, a gente vai até táxi, né? É um pouquinho mais caro, mas pede, pede pelo aplicativo. Muito melhor. Melhor. Aí é o seguinte, aquilo lá que eu falei, quem quiser pular as histórias, tá, é, o vídeo aí, tá? Mas eu não vou contar as histórias, não. Aí depois a gente continua no... Acho que vai ficar com o máximo nela, né? Como tá, tá, gente? Se tiver algum comentário, eu Thanks for everything. O que você quer What do I mean? Like everything with Nanoha. You've just continuously been there for me. <laughs> Not at all. You're the one helping me out. Without you, I'd be butting heads with a bunch of old farts all day. And on top of that, Sachan, I can rest that much easier knowing you're there to keep me in line. Gotta thank you for that. No joke. I think it's pretty cool I got to meet such an amazing woman. <laughs> Please, Ichiban, are you flirting with me? Maybe you're drunk already. <laughs> no, I'm not subtle enough to where I gotta get drunk to speak my mind. <laughs> hey, Ichiban, do you um, do you ever think about getting a girlfriend? Uh huh. Well, I, I, it's not like I'm super interested or anything. Just a little curious is all. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, sure. I definitely like one, but there's a lot I gotta do before that. Once everything's said and done, I'd want to be able to take it easy with my girlfriend when the time comes. Besides, I doubt there's a girl who'd be up for dating some idiot that just got out of the slammer. <laughs> really? I imagine you'd be pretty popular, Ichiban. I'm sure there's plenty of girls that think you're attractive. <laughs> You really think so? Ele pareceu quando tinha 15 anos. Não é nada. Quando eu ensinei ele, ok? That's because you just never realized it. And sure, you've got some quirks, but that's no reason to put yourself down. You are one of the decent ones, Ichiban. There's a lot of crappy guys out there, so keep your chin up. <laughs> I feel better already hearing you say that, Sachan. That said, what about you? Well, me? Yeah. I mean, where's your boyfriend? I bet you got at least two or three of them. Well, with how popular you are. <laughs> you really think I cheat like that? Uh, no, no, that's that's not what I meant. I'm just saying you're attractive. I'm sure there's a ton of guys going for you. Well, sure. There's 
definitely been guys here and there. But right now? No. No one in particular. Uh, I feel you. Quer dizer que nunca houve alguém? Nossa, preciso de uma bebida. Você está gostando de alguém? <risos> Wait. Does that mean there's someone you like? Uh, uh, well, who knows? <risos> I, I certainly don't. <risos> I mean, um, well, maybe there is. Oh, não, well, né? uh, most likely, yes. Wow. Gotta say, Sachan, I'm kind of jealous. What kind of guy is he? Well, huh. For starters, he's an idiot. An idiot? <laughs> yep. He's dumb, crude, not to mention wild. Uh, <laughs> he's always hanging around with guy friends and causing a bunch of trouble. Oh, yeah? Sounds like a real shithead. Mm-hmm. He sure is. But he's got some good in him, too. He's passionate, and he cares a lot about his friends. And no matter how much he gets hurt, he's never hesitant to put others first. And he might look brutish and violent, but he's actually really kind. <laughs> Maybe he's actually pretty cool then. I mean, if you're into him, Sachan, then I'm sure he's a great guy. <laughs> I guess so. Ah, I thought it would happen. Or it didn't happen. Oh man, maybe I did have too much. I'm starting to get sleepy. You probably did. <laughs> I'm sure you're always tired too. Why don't you go upstairs and get some sleep? That sounds nice. Yeah, I'll take a little nap. If I don't wake up soon, feel free to smack me awake. You got it. <laughs> you really are clueless. Posso falar nada que eu também era. Mas é aquilo lá, né? Por mais que talvez não não pense nas coisas, né? Tudo tem um sentido. <sighs> Really? He doesn't even have a blanket. Ah, you want to catch a cold? <laughs> Seriously, what an idiot. Huh? What? Such a... <laughs> Ichiban. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, uh, Sacha? The hell? What about that kiss? I thought... Uh... What are you talking about? You were out for a while, so I came to wake you up. Oh, right. So it was a dream. I guess I should have known. <laughs> What kind of dream was it? Oh, well, uh, a really nice one. Uh-huh. Sheesh, you're an idiot. Hmm. I saw this episode and all that. Man, I can't believe it was a dream. <sighs> Agora vai pro máximo, né? Eu não sei se ela tava nível 4, nível... Well, at least I got some sleep. Definitely needed it. Damn, did that dream feel real? Hey, Kasuga, go wash your face. Huh? Tá com uma marca, né? You just woke up, right? It's good to wash your face. Uh, yeah, sure. I hear you. I'll go splash some water on it. Hmm. Huh. Wonder what sort of dream he had. Huh? Oh, yeah. I wonder. <laughs> ah, era uma história secundária? Ah, mas espera aí. É... 
Ou é atributo? É atributo? Ah, tá, tá aqui. Círculo máximo, próximo 20. Máximo 20. Máximo 0 de 10. Ah, tá. Foi no Nampa. Hey, Namba! You thinking what I'm thinking? If it's a drink you want, I can't. I have to take care of some shopping. You? Shopping? It's for the bartender. Uh, he told me he'd give me an extension on my tab if I ran a couple errands for him. <sighs> Pain in the ass all the same. Man, you are getting a much better deal than he is. Uh, maybe so. In any case, I'll see you around. Okay, see you in a bit. Running around doing manual labor at my age. Where did I go wrong? Uma vez que bebemos, Nama me contou como desistiu da carreira por mim. Queria se despedir antes que ela saia do país e não sabe começar. So, Namba and Mizue chan. I assume you're hatching a plan to reunite them? Hold on. How in the heck did you... Eavesdropping on customers has never been my policy. But you two hardly count. You mean you were listening in when Namba was pouring his heart out? Not like I tried to. I just happened to be at the counter and something he said made me put two and two together. What do you mean? There's a bar I go to every so often. Just got themselves a new hostess. I believe her name's Futaba. What's she gotta do with Namba? Well, as it turns out, this Futaba had been a nurse up until just recently. She was telling me about her nursing life at the hospital and in the middle of her story. É mesmo, you know, né? É o roubo de remédio, verdade. Up. She said a nurse who worked there, some guy, admitted to the theft before the cops could get involved. What? But that... that could only mean... I know. She had to have been talking about Namba. If that's true, then the two of them worked at the very same hospital. Naturally, I'd assume she would know when Mizue-chan is leaving. Have you told Namba any of this? No, not yet. Besides, he said it himself. He couldn't reach out to his colleagues even if he wanted to. On the other hand, I'm sure his drinking buddy could reach out on his behalf. I get you. Man, you came strong with that one. But listen, if you do go and meet Futaba, I wouldn't tell Namba if I were you. Yeah, wouldn't want to make it seem like I'm doing it behind his back. I figured as much, so I called Futaba's bar and spoke to the mama there. She said Futaba's on her way. She's on her way here? Wait, is that why you sent Namba shopping? Dude, how do you think that many moves ahead? Bringing people together is what a bartender does. All I can do is facilitate. Eh, uh, lá, The rest eh? is up to you. Then I won't let this chance go to waste. Hey, so... My boss said you wanted to see me? Your Futaba-san? In the flesh. <laughs> Am I supposed to know you? No, I just wanted to ask you a few things. Uh, here, have a seat. How long Not is this I'm off today, and I was planning to hit the pachinko parlor. Okay, I'll make it quick. And now, listen, you were a nurse before, right? Yeah, and? One of your colleagues got fired for selling off meds. You remember who that was? God, how would I know? I'm sure you heard something. I'm thinking he's a friend of mine. Look, the only thing I know about it is that the guy was some four-eyed mope. Well, that has to be Namba. <laughs> that name does ring a bell. Wait, Dad. Hey, hon. No way. Shut up! They raised the jackpot? Babe, do not let anyone sit there. I'm on my way right now. Before you go, tell me, do you know anyone named Mizue-chan? She worked with you at the hospital Who and... Who even cares? You're wasting my pachinko time! Wait, we're not done! Hey, guys. Namba, hey! Back already? Man, you shop quick. Yeah, well, I forgot the shopping list, so I had to come back and get it. Anyway, who was that walking out of here just now? Did you say what? I couldn't see her face or anything, but wasn't there a lady just in here? Nah, you need better glasses, man. Nobody came in or out of here, right, bartender? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? 
Is there a reason you two are acting suspicious as hell? Whoa, let's tone it down, buddy. Could it be the two of you are conspiring to throw me a surprise birthday party? Uh-huh. You knew I had a birthday coming up, so you two must have gotten together to plan the whole thing out. Uh, yup. You got us, man. Now the surprise is ruined. See, I knew it. You always go over the top when it comes to these Eu things. Só ironia, sarcasmo, né? What kind of party are we talking here? Give me a hint. O curso de arremesso de tortas. Foi mal é segredo. Ah, bebidas em sua homenagem, vai. Um, I can't give away too much, but we were thinking it'd be like a cocktail party. Oh yeah? Yeah, I mean, we all know how much you love to drink. Does that mean we get to dress up and eat hors d'oeuvres too? <laughs> that would be classy. <laughs> Don't spoil anymore. You'll just have to wait. <laughs> Finally, a happy birthday. Ah, já tô no máximo. Ele pareceu contente com isso. Vamos ter que organizar o um coquetel para ele agora. Pelo menos eu confirmei que a Futaba trabalhou mesmo com o Namba, só não consegui nenhum detalhe da Mizuri. É, porque essa mulher aí Se não tarde, vou ter que falar com a Futaba de novo. Right. As soon as I'm back from the store, we are drinking. É, mas I'll be tá here, chegando o aniversário oh, dele, né, hoje? Better not pull some. I forgot my wallet crap again. Shoot. I actually did forget my wallet. <laughs> this guy. Mas assim, esse é o 3, é, é isso que eu ia falar. Até chegar no próximo. Será que isso faz diferença? Agora eu vou ganhar mais experiência. É. Ah, a host e a gente. Ok. Dá um centro aqui, né? Volto. O Namba já foi. Não. Ele já foi. Ela também já tá no máximo, né? Nem falo mais também. Agora tem o Rodrigo dos Travessos aqui. Belo. Depois tem o outro. Yo! How goes it, Kasugakun? Mas pagodeiro, né, cara? You're blending in already, Zhao. You know it. Turns out drinks taste a lot better without bodyguards watching your every move. Yeah? So that was the life of the former leader of the Yokohama Lumong. That shit was dumped on me from the day I was born. Kind of a drag. Growing up knowing you had a fucking script. Well, the nice thing about alcohol is it tastes better if you complain while you're drinking it. Ah, oh, sure. Enjoy my childhood trauma. <laughs> but I guess after all the shit you've been through? Eh, eu dei uma pausa aqui. Eu acho que não. Acho. You learned it. Your dad led the Yokohama Lumong before you, right? What's he doing now? He died a few years after retiring. Right in his bed. He's lucky he never got shot or stabbed. Hey, yeah. That's a real achievement for a gang boss. Yeah, I guess so. He only managed it by sleeping with one eye open his whole life. No matter how you slice it, it's not a great way to live. I sure as hell didn't want to lead the Lumong. The Mamuchi. This shit was always up his alley. You mean Lauma? What even happened to that guy? I haven't even seen him since we kicked his ass during the whole Omi Alliance thing. Don't you know what the Yokohama Lumong does to traitors? They use this filling that goes inside meat buns. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> right now, Lauma is. Bauma? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. I was kidding. You think I'm the kind of guy who'd do that? Okay, jeito eu te garanto. É, você não faz esse jeito de jogar pela aparência. Nada bem resposta. Yeah, I thought it was a joke. Uh, him being your right hand man and everything. And you're not the kind of guy to turn a brother into a meat bun, no matter what he did. <laughs> Appreciate that. I like to think I don't give off that vibe. I did stop short to give him Mabuchi what he deserved. After all the shit he put me through. Yeah, what does that mean? Face. 
Did you kill Mabuchi? Oh, you're softer than any bun out there. Look at you all worried. I just don't like the thought of that happening to people. Even creeps like Mabuchi, who murdered your boss without a second thought? Eh. Even creeps like him. All I wanted was to knock that guy's lights out and hand him to the cops. <laughs> but by the time his lights were nice and knocked out, the Yomi showed up, and you never saw him again, did you? You really did kill him, didn't you? All right, I'm bored of messing with you. I didn't kill him. Oh, <laughs> had a feeling you didn't. Why is that? Hard to explain, but uh, I don't get that vibe from you. Not one bit. In fact, it always kind of felt to me like your hard ass act was just a show for your boys. A front you put on. Ah, that's a little harsh there, eh, Kasugaku? <laughs> you don't strike me as the type to lock guys up or torture them either. Especially one of your own, like Mabuchi. Hmm. He and I call the same place home. Nothing could make me take his life. But now, Song Hui's in charge of the Yokohama Liu Mang. It's up to her to settle things if Mabuchi shows his face again. He's the reason Komi Jewel's a pile of ashes, so... I don't think she'll be treating him as nice as I would. <laughs> Probably not. Which is why I gave Mabuchi the heads up and told him to leave Ijincho. Really? Well, that's taking things into your own hands. A few of his boys went with him, and I forgave the ones that wanted to stick around. It's a hard reset. Clean slate for everyone. Song Hui was good with that. You two are more generous than I thought. Mabuchi brought in a lot of cash for us, and he was damn consistent about it. The fact that he kept a bunch of shit hidden from us was an issue, but I could deal. So you knew about it and you just let it slide? The guys from my dad's generation were pissed, for sure. Kept saying Mabuchi was breaking sacred laws of the gang. But what did they expect from a sadist in Japan's most famous gray zone? And that he'd have a moral compass or some shit? <laughs> Seriously? How about we toast to Mabuchi? Wherever he might be. Yeah, well, well, he's no friend of mine, but what the hell? If you can cheer to him, I can too. Now we're talking. Ótimo, virou. Agora falta só do o cara que esqueci. Se ele tiver aqui, né? Se não ah tá. A, a dele deve ser interessante. Hello, Kasuga-san. Ele é educado, pelo menos. This place is quite comfortable. Yeah, ain't it? Also, seriously, man, how's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? Guess it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? <laughs> hey, now you're speaking my language, man. You certainly are a mysterious one, Kasuga-san. Songhui speaks highly of you as well. I dare say it makes me jealous. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, speaking of, have you been with her long? You've got this butler and lady of the house thing going on. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijuru. I can't say it's been long. No shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies, I was to be killed in his place. That was my duty. I didn't figure people still did that kind of stuff. Uh, wait, does that mean your face is... An imitation, yes. What you see is a result of large-scale plastic surgery. But I'll have you know my previous face was rather handsome as well. A shame not a single picture of it exists anymore. Really? Out the window then, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. 
So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're not that close yet, are we? Come on. First step in becoming friends is calling each other by name, right? Hmm. Well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. Is that how it was with the Jingon Mafia? From the name, I'm guessing it was some sort of Korean Yakuza-like thing. Weren't you once a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was in the clink for a long time. The Jingon Mafia and the Tojo clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. Doubt I even had hair. Yes, I had yet to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurocho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were rather intense. The Tojo clan was incredibly strong. And they made sure it was a well-known fact. Still, to off 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent even more members to Japan. Some of them as undercover agents. But deception is a tricky business. And all who could not strike at the heart of the Tojo clan were considered failures and forbidden from returning. In the end, those that couldn't carry out the mission were abandoned and left without any place to go. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here, in Japan. Yes, but be that as it may, I don't recall being welcomed here. I wasn't even accepted by any Korean communities either. My family was treated like slime and kicked out from wherever we went. We came to be called the Stray Jingon Mafia, running away whenever we were discovered. Slimes who run away, huh? Ah, uh, peraí. Tinha ativado uma coisa. Eu tenho experiência demais. Slimes que fogem. Pois é. If you're slimes who run away, the reason they chase you is because you're worth tons of experience. <laughs> I get it. You're into video games, aren't you, Kazuga? Yeah, I played a lot as a kid. Well, you might be surprised to learn I am too. We should talk shop sometime. Hell yeah! Nossa, deve ser horrível eles falando de mim. So, what happened to the Stray Jingon after that? Hmm. Enter the 21st century. The winter of 2006. Oh, yes. Around the time I turned 20, the Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all-out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, the stray Jingon Mafia received not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely forgotten by the countrymen that sent them here. You don't say. I might know a guy who could sympathize with that. Oh? Yeah. He's right in front of you. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So, what happened to the Jingon's big all-out attack? Despite their careful planning, they were ultimately crushed by the Tojo clan. Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the Stray Jingon Mafia. <laughs> it was a miserable sight. Both sides cut off from home and left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. I wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. And I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me? It would seem so. I haven't been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. 
I was absent at the time. And it all came crashing down, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait, then that means... Can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? <sighs> you're... Uh, you're not trying to become the real Joongi Han, are you? Uh, who can say? But that's none of your concern, is it, Kasuga-san? Or am I wrong? Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> Farewell. É, nível zero para um ainda, né? Time to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking with them. Aí, pronto. Agora sim, seguimos. Vamos para. Oh, meu Deus. Vamos salvar, vamos para o lugar da Obialice, né? E com a história. Eu acho que é o final do capítulo, tá? É, tem que ir para Sotembori, depois pegar o táxi e ir para o QG. Quartel General, tá? Tá. Eu acho que o chefe mais difícil já foi, tá? Hold up there. Who's this guy again? Tendo. One of the Omi lieutenants. Yeah. I think I recognize him. From where? What you mumbling to yourself about? Spit it out. While you're at it, why are you here and how'd you even get in? Tendo. Let him through. He's my guest. Your guest, huh? But acting captain, isn't he? Exactly right. The man who took a bullet from my gun straight on. And now here he is, back from hell itself to see the captain released from prison. Yeah? That is real commitment. Well. If he causes any trouble, any at all, it'll be on you to clean up the mess. Agreed? It'll be fine. All right. I'll go back to trying to figure out what the hell is going down here today. Nothing to figure out except the popcorn. So you can watch the shit turn the Omi Alliance on its head. You think? Remember what you did in Eugene Cho? Now it's your turn. Não consegue ficar quieto, né? Oh, I just realized who he is. He used to be a star heavyweight boxer. He's the loony who agreed to fix a fight for money, but when he didn't get paid, he beat the fixers to death. Oh, yeah. I remember that, too. <laughs> what a role model, huh? Captain, welcome home, sir. Passar o Atas, capitão da aliança, para ter com a família Atas. Good 
Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do co-sign this official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Mm. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi Chairman, Captain Watase, and Acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? Did Mitsu tell you that, Ichibang? Oh, mm-hmm. Remember now? Yeah, but I still didn't think the Tojo and Omi would just dissolve at the same time. I know. This is going to send shockwaves through our world, and many will oppose it. Doubtless, someone will try to start a war of succession. But we anticipated that, and built many defenses against it. Defenses? What did you have to do? The sixth chairman planned every last detail. Watase was involved too. He felt the same sorrow as I did about the future of Yakuza life. When we were finally forced to conclude that this is where it will all end. The problem was how do we end the largest Yakuza group in Japan peacefully? We knew that if we simply broke the news to the officers, there would have been mutiny. To make matters worse, Watase had just been thrown behind bars by way of the 3K plan. And with their leader out of sight and out of mind, one wrong move could have started a coup. Right. But then we had the idea to use the Kamurocho 3K plan in our favor. How'd you do that? We came up with two steps to implement. First, ensure the 3K plan succeeded. What the hell? To achieve that, we purposely let Arakawa-san leak the Tojo clan intel. And then Aoki drove the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho just as we knew he would. He had no idea, of course, that this was our desired outcome. <laughs> Amusing to think that he still considers it his greatest achievement. In reality, the 3K plan only worked because we allowed it to. Apparently. After that, the sixth chairman made his second request of me. I was to keep playing the role of the greedy traitor, dancing on the Tojo clan's grave. All while bringing the Omi into Kamurocho to take the Tojo clan's place. Arakawa-san's admirable efforts split the Sotenbori Omi horde right down the middle. Which leads us to Sotenbori as you see it now. Half its men stuck in Tokyo. Weakened. Spread too thin. And this was Arakawa-san's goal all along? This exact situation? Yes. And he finished it right on schedule. Watase's day of release is here. And we can make our announcement. 
Esse é... Agora vai ser a jogada do Aok. Fuck you, Otase! You're a goddamn traitor! Ah, bom. Caraca. I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? Damn, seeing these Tojo clan legends fighting is fucking crazy. Yeah, very impressive. Hey, that's these guys are all army officers, huh? There are still this many, even with half of them in Kamurocho. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited. We're gonna march this declaration down to a soccer PD. I know most of you are none too happy about it. So listen. Up. Dele ficou mó bosta. If you consider yourself real yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa. -han. Tendo, this kind of brawl, most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Oh, eu sou oficiais, então teoricamente sou mais forte. Shit. Let's make it one to remember. Vai vai ter briga mesmo, é só se debate. Isso não tem nada. Think you stand a chance? Não vai ser difícil, né? Ah, é verdade, né? Eu liberei algumas coisas aqui que eu queria mostrar pra você. Vamos ver o furacão da bolsa. E o. Ah, eu poderia atingir vários, né? Ok. Ok. Olha essa aqui, gente. Essa aqui é animal. Ah, eu não vi esse aqui do povo, do povo migratório. O dele, eu não sei se tem nova. Não, não tem, não tem novo, não. Toma, toma. Por que, que eu tô usando? Oh, a arma dele. Ele tem nova, tá? Arremesso demolidor. É de corpo. Eu acho que... Não, legal, mas deixa eu usar esse aqui. Dá pra matar mais rápido. Putz, eu preciso equipar um negócio nele. Toma. Será que eu consigo? Quer lutar? Putz, eu não consigo, né? Nossa, vai diminuir. Deve ter diminuindo muito o ataque dele. Ó. Esse aqui, ele pegou um, que é esse empalamento obstinado, que é muito forte. Sempre dá crítico, mas ele também sempre toma um dano a mais. Quebre das velas. 
É, dá, dá fogo, né? E o dele, ó, é esse aqui, gente. É muito forte. É muito forte. So he's finally back. The dragon of Dojima. E essa música aí? Esse quarto presidente do clã Tojo. Azuba Kiryu. Watase. Where'd you find him? Who, him? I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. Ele é o por acaso dos outros jogos? I'll protect the back, even if it costs me my life. I don't know who you are, but you sure know how to make an entrance. Trocar arma. É ele mesmo. Ele é do sexto, Kazuma Kiryu. Então, né, mas eu quero trocar minha arma. Ela tem um aqui. Tá muito dano. Mas vocês podem ver que a gente tá um pouquinho forte, né? Ah, o dele eu vou usar o Gigagop mesmo. Esse aqui provavelmente vai matar os dois. Falei, é muito forte. Nós estamos fortes também. Is that all of them? Nice. We did it. <laughs> Good luck out there, Kasuga. You're gonna do great. Ele é o que canta da Benami? Hey, Ichi. Arakawa-san. Sorry for not standing up. <laughs> my body's not following my orders right now. Stop trying. You deserve to relax for once. I owe you so much. If you hadn't shown up with all your allies, things might have gone sideways. No, I didn't do anything. It was all my friends doing. <laughs> well, then you have some very good friends. A rare thing. Arakawa-san. I'm very impressed and so happy you've survived all this, Ichi. Arakawa-san! Você desmontou. É, 
eles provavelmente serão presos, né? Wait, hold on. Does this mean you were hiding the six chairman this whole time? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. Do you see now? Actually, I'm a, pretty damn confused. Well, when you have more money than you know what to do with, social connections come naturally. Even unique connections like six chairman Daigoku. We met under strictly professional circumstances, of course. He came to me for help after the Kamurocho 3K plan got underway. Did you hide Majima-san and Saijima-san, too? Oh, yes. And can I just say, despite their formidable reputations, they were perfect gentlemen each time I spoke with them. I never thought that you, of all people, would end up rescuing them. Life is so random at times. Well, I, I wouldn't say I rescued them. I just lent them a little muscle, that's all. Of course, then I got lost in the fun of the fight. <laughs> the fight of a lifetime. Fan, you. Well, you really love him, huh? <laughs> With all my soul. And we're meeting up later today. You'd call it a date, I guess. Oh, how romantic! Well, you'll huh? have to dish about it later. Eita. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can talk about him for days. I think he's going, but it's I'm sorry to bail on you, Ichi. I know we made our plans first, but... I've known Chairman Hoshino 40 years now. It'd be impolite to turn him down. I get it, boss. Totally get it. When there's a shot at Peking Duck and Hay on Tower, you take it. It was kind of silly of me to invite you to a meal in the first place. I know that. Heh. <laughs> Kasuga. I'm not a boss anymore. Just a regular old man. I don't give a damn who I eat with. <laughs> well, is Sotenbori all quiet now with the Omi Alliance dissolved? People don't know how to react. Not the civilians, and certainly not the Yakuza. The former Yakuza. <laughs> but I guess it's only natural when a hundred-year-old institution just disappears. Any Omi guys rioting or anything? No, even if they did, it wouldn't change anything. Even when they had real strength, they didn't manage to stop us from submitting the papers. And they've only waned since then. Hate to say it, but their reputation's in the toilet. We don't need to dunk their faces in the bowl, too. We'll just let it be. Did you really know it would all happen this way? No, we just did the best we could, and this is how the chips fell. I can't tell the future any more than the next man. Well, you had me fooled. Really seemed like you saw it all coming. <laughs> I'm sure Masato's in a rage right now. <laughs> he must be losing his mind. All his plans hinged on the Omi's support. And I just pulled the rug out from under him. I never could help myself from giving in to his desires if he threw a fit. <sighs> it's been true since he was a toddler. <laughs> I'd always hoped he'd grow out of temper tantrums. <laughs> Some things between a father and son never change. But I can't afford to go easy on him anymore. No? He isn't aware that well before he was governor, the sixth chairman and Watase were considering dissolution. And by the time he pressured me to sell out the Tojo clan, all that did was accelerate their plan. <sighs> now Masato knows what growing power tastes like. 
If I don't stop him before it grows too large for his throat, he'll choke on it. He'll lose everything. Everything he's built. I... I just don't want to see that happen. <laughs> well... <clears throat> I should get going. Boss. Hmm? Earlier, you said you don't have a title anymore. So, what's your plan from here on out? What are you gonna do? The six chairman and Watase knew that once their factions were gone, many of their men would lose their way with no Yakuza path to follow. That's happening now. So, they want to find some legal means to take in these wandering souls who have nowhere else to go. I'd like to help them with that task. I see. Guess you do have total freedom to do whatever now, huh? Yes. <laughs> and the only thing I'm wondering is how am I going to kill the time? I think this is how every businessman must feel when he retires. <laughs> well, that being the case, can I go back to being in the Arakawa family? Ichi, are you? It's just. When I was working in your family, it was the happiest time of my life. I felt that way ever since you rescued me at 16. I mean it. But how can you still, after I sent you to prison in Masato's place, for 18 years, after lying to you that it was for the family? Well, I accepted that when I went. And then? After all that you did, I shot you. You only did that to give me a chance to keep living. No. All the chances you needed were inside you. Your own strength kept you alive. The truth is, I've never helped you at all. Not even once. You should hate me for all the things I've done. Why don't you? Fine. If you really want to beat yourself up about it. Then please let me back in the family with you. soap land called Shangri-La, weren't you? Yeah. So I've been told. It's a hell of a story. One that's never sat well with me. Huh? I dream about it, you know. You dream about it? Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago, on that cold New Year's Eve night. Akan is there, and she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. Ah, sapi. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. Oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Oh, Nothing to be embarrassed about. You've got a good heart and you're doing the best you can. It doesn't matter where you were born. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I 
I'm curious. Did you ever want to find your parents? Good question. I don't really know. At this point, I've gotten pretty used to not knowing them. You've gone through a lot. Not that I have any right to speak to you about it. Well, no point in dwelling on a dream. That's all it is, right? I can go the rest of the way from here. See you tomorrow, Ichi. O final? Não, né? Ichiban Kasuga. I like messages, so leave me one. This is Hoshino of the Serio clan. Kasuga, you need to call me as soon as you get this. This morning, they found Arakawa's ah, body in the claro. ocean. Claro. Mas, mas, óbvio que não ia ficar por... Mas, beleza, pessoal. Vou deixar esse vídeo por aqui. Muito obrigado a todos por terem assistido. Dúvidas, críticas, sugestões, curtida, compartilhada. Isso é o seu canal ficar a cargo de vocês. Deixe os comentários que vocês acham. Eu vejo. Obrigado a todos. E até a próxima.